Hello, everyone. Happy Saturday. Philip Belenke here, and I'm here with Billy Hilton, and we are excited to show you this beautiful, completely renovated, classic craftsman home in one of my favorite neighborhoods in Seattle, Mount Baker. And Mount Baker is this little hidden gem. It's in the southeast corner of Seattle, just south of I-90 and along Lake Washington. And it's um, a really prized neighborhood for many reasons. We'll talk more about the neighborhood a little bit later and we'll get right inside to start showing off this gorgeous home. So this home is situated on a corner lot and it takes up quite a bit of space and it has a really nice presence. It's positioned really well on the corner itself. It is facing to the south and to the west. And so it's the ideal corner to be on location wise, especially in the Pacific Northwest where we have such dark dreary days. And we are on the front porch. And as you can see, it's not just any regular front porch. There is so much space here and it gives you such a nice connection to the neighborhood as well. So as people walk along and already we've seen people walking their dog and just neighbors out on a walk and strollers. And it really does just give you a good sense of the neighborhood and gives you that really nice connection. So on the outside of this home, it is very much a traditional classic craftsman, but once you are inside, you'll notice it has a completely modern and really hip urban feel. Um, so let's take a look. So the house is three bedrooms, two and a quarter bathrooms and 27, 20 square feet. And it's two and a quarter bathrooms. However, really it lives and feels more like a two and a half bathroom home. It's a quarter because of the technicality of the way the bathrooms are added. There's one full bathroom, there's a three quarter bathroom and a half bathroom. So really two and a half bathrooms. So as soon as you walk in, you'll notice just how open and spacious and bright the room is. There's a lot of custom features here, like that bench is built in with a built in pull out drawer. There's this entire wall unit here that is also custom and stays with the home. It's completely built in, really convenient to have right at your door. So there's not a, a, a coat closet per se, but instead there are hooks for coats, there's cubbies, there's cabinets, and then there is not too far from, from the main door, a, a large storage room, storage area for hanging coats. So many new features were brought in and a lot of the original features kept, were kept intact. And so you'll notice here there are fur floors on the entire main space of this home. So there were a lot of new fur floors that were brought in to blend in with the existing fur floors. And so often with older homes, you have new, um, new hardwood floors brought in, but they're just matched. They try to match it with the fur floors, but it never looks quite as great. But here they really did go the extra mile and brought in new fur floors, which is pretty rare to see. So I'll step out of the way here. And also um, and you'll notice kind of the transition into the dining room. So with, you know, in the spirit of these older homes, you have formal rooms, which people really love, but it's nice that there's this kind of great room feel. It is more open here. And yet while it is still open, it still does maintain that individual uh, room that has you know, that individual specific function. And so the dining room here is very, much, it's, it's very much a dining room, but it feels like it's the heart of the house, the way that it's positioned between the living room and this kitchen. And they opened up this kitchen completely to the dining room to give it more of that open, great room feel. So when you're in the dining room, you feel very much connected to the living room and of course to the kitchen based on how just it's, it's right here. It's all really easy. There's no wasted space here whatsoever. It's really gorgeous finishes throughout all of the windows. Um, some are original, but they have been updated. Um, there are some newer windows here. Everything has been very thoughtfully done. These windows face west, so really wonderful afternoon and evening light, great sunsets that you would catch as well. And then this whole built, this whole wall unit here is so lovely. So th there's this opening, this archway here that's kind of feels like you're going kind of through this big sh um, bookshelf, but it's just great for you know showcasing all of your you know either accessories, art, books, cookbooks. 
And there are these extra cabinets below as well, which are a nice addition for all those extra dining room things that we need space for. So this kitchen has been completely renovated, really gorgeous finishes, top of the line appliances, Viking, gas range, fantastic um, refrigerator, microwave, everything has really been thought out. Very deep sink, instant hot water brought in, commercial grade faucet. And even some of the detailing here, like the floating shelf here and the tile that goes all the way up to the ceiling, really nice touch. And it has very much that modern feel, but still works so well with the classic architecture and the classic design of the house. Thanks everyone for watching. Looks like we have a few people online. Came to love with the kitchen. Yes, it's such a gorgeous <laughs> kitchen. And there are these extra, um, extra storage space underneath here. And just notice also all of these windows and all of this light. I mean, it's such a unique aspect here. So these windows here are on the, some are on the newer side. Again, some are older, but wherever you look, you're looking at windows. And the tile floor also very, very classic, very um, just nice features were chosen that are very timeless. Doesn't feel like in seven, eight, nine, ten 10 years, it's going to feel like it's going out of style. The owners did a fantastic job designing everything here. So the, um, this side area here, we'll go, we'll go through in just a few minutes. This is where you access through to get down to the basement, to the lower level. But before we go down there, we're going to show you the rest of the main floor. So there are two bedrooms on the main floor, one of which is the primary suite, which has an ensuite half bathroom. And then there also is a large full bathroom on the main level. And there's this nice little kind of hallway open space here that also makes it just feel a little bit more spacious in general. You're not going down this narrow hallway and the bedrooms are also further apart. So the primary suite is over here. And then on the opposite end is the other bedroom. So again, having that distance for that extra privacy is a really nice touch. So come on into the primary suite. As you can see, it just it speaks for itself. It's such a serene, beautiful room. So the current owners expanded this house. They've actually done a lot of work to this home. There is an entire upgrades and improvements list that is on the website that we'll share with you in a little bit and then you'll see a whole list of all of the different features and improvements. And in this bedroom, they actually expanded this out, um, taking over space that what used to be a sunroom and added in more windows to create more of this serene feel. These upper windows here. So we're looking out onto the porch, but because these windows are so high, it really does maintain that privacy. These custom closets are pretty awesome. So everything, again, very thought through. I mean, even these hampers, they pull out so conveniently on both sides. These drawers pull out. There's three separate sections here. Drawer for your shoes, lots of, lots of storage here. So unlike some primary suites that may, might have a walk-in closet, here there's this entire closet wall, which I think works just as well. So beautiful half bathroom. So this was an addition to the house as well. So while the main bathroom here is very close in proximity, it is nice to have the extra, the extra space. Thanks everyone for tuning in. If there are any questions, feel free to write them in the comments and we'll try to address everything. There are people loving the windows. Yeah, those windows are really gorgeous. So let's go ahead and show this bathroom here. So this is the half, the main bathroom on the main floor. And again, really nice finishes. And that tub is very deep. If you are able to get a closer up, I think we should show off that bathtub.
And also there's this really cool feature here. So this window here actually looks out onto the stairwell that leads you down into the basement. And so it's, it was purposely added to bring in natural light from the exterior window, but really so well designed there. You'll notice these radiators, so this is all very intentional as well. The entire heating system has been upgraded in this home. So there is a very, um, a very top-notch hydronic system, and there are old radiators that are utilized, and they're all, they have all been updated, serviced, repaired, so they all work beautifully. There are also new radi radiators downstairs, which you'll see in a few minutes, that are very modern and hip-looking. So a really wonderful system, very energy efficient. There's also a tankless hot water heater. So there's on-demand hot water. There's a ductless heating system, a ductless air conditioning system as well. Many splits that are um, throughout the house um, very intentionally placed to keep the house really cool in the summer. So here we have the second bedroom of the two main level bedrooms. Right now it's a kid's room, but plenty of space here to have this be a proper bedroom with a king bed and maybe even a king, um, well, sorry, with a queen size bed, not maybe a king bed, but a queen size bed would certainly fit with nightstands and with some extra furniture. Large windows kind of view out to the back, to the back deck, which is nice. And these fur floors are the original floors, but they're just so beautiful. They have been redone and it just really adds to the charm of the overall house. So a closet here of this bedroom, and it, what's really neat is that it actually wraps around. Which would be a fun little hideaway space, but good amount of closet space here. So there are so many amazing aspects of this home. The basement, which you'll see in a few minutes, is one of my favorite parts of the house. It's a really special space. And then the third floor attic expansion is also something that is going to be a very memorable part of this home. So go ahead, um, I'll follow you up, Billy. And so as you go upstairs, you'll notice how it, it is very seamless to the main part of the house. So these, stair these stairs were brought in I'm sorry, not brought in. These stairs were expanded um, and it was all renovated here. So it's a very wide stairwell with a lot of um, space and light. And it, once you go up there, you really do feel like this third floor is just part of the main, the main level of the house. And this, in, this entire area is about, two, about 300 square feet or so. It's one big open space. So it's like a big open loft bonus room. You can give it many different names. Right now they use it as a half nursery, kids play area and half guest room. And these windows here were actually our newer windows and they were made larger so that there is full egress so that this space can be considered livable space. But this room could easily be closed off a little bit more to create more of a proper bedroom feel. I think this entire third floor expansion would make a great home gym or dual office, guest suite, just big play area. I mean, there's again, so many flexible ways that this entire third floor can be utilized. And these little built-in seating areas with, the, with these built-in drawers are so fantastic and this wood, um, paneling and the ceiling is so gorgeous. So you have these really convenient drawers here for extra storage. There's a little access for some additional attic storage. Some nice built-in cubbies. All right, so let's continue on. And again, I'm walking down here and you can see how wide the space is here. And this landing here is quite large as well. And it's a nice view from here if we can show on the camera. So standing where I am right now, you can see where the living room is and then also how it is related to the third floor. So it's very much connected. 
so often we see photos of rooms like this and we feel like, oh gosh, this, it's nice to have that, but it feels so separate to the rest of the house. But here that's not the case. Okay, so from here we'll go down into the basement. We'll walk through the living room, through the dining room, and to the kitchen. And you'll see the newly finished basement which doesn't really feel like a basement, it just feels like the lower level, lower level of the house. This spot here is such a fantastic special area. So these windows are so classic, I just have to demonstrate. They are so lovely. So again, like the charm of the house, of the original classic, the craftsman aspects are all retained here. And this, you could tell, used to be porch of the house. This was the exterior of the house. And so over the years, this house has been updated in many different ways. And so now it just feels like you're going down a normal interior stairwell of the home to get down into the basement. So again, very bright space here. This is a door to the backyard, to the back deck, which we'll go in a few minutes into. So this whole basement here, so enormous space. Check out all of this wonderful room here. So there is a full bedroom, a full, well, three-quarter bathroom, but very large bathroom, a kitchenette, extra storage, and this huge rec room. So this area here, so all the flooring is new. All, I mean, literally every little piece of this lower level is brand new in the last few years. And so the space here would work really well as a mother-in-law suite or could even function as a little Airbnb um, suite, um, but also just makes a really great guest room, guest bedroom suite. You can also turn this into the primary bedroom. So this can be the owner suite where you have large bedroom, space for a king bed. That bathroom we'll see in a minute is enormous. There's in-ceiling wiring for that awesome entertainment, home media space, the projector, space for the projection. I just, I turned on the screen there to show you just how awesome of a viewing area this is. I mean, having movie nights here, watching, the ga watching games and movies, I mean, really it's like such a fun space down here. And then this is perfect for, you know, setting up a little bar or just having, um, you know, having a game night down here, I could see having a table here for games or even just a, a dining table if you had some longer term guests staying here. So here's an example of the beautiful modern radiators. So they look so cool. So not, not only are they so functional, but they just are style, visually so appealing. I love those. And the bedroom also has one of these. So this bathroom feels like it's out of a design magazine. It's gorgeous. The tile work, the vanity, it's a very custom vanity. There's tile that goes all the way up to the ceiling. This shower it is a true party shower. There, it's so much space. I'm just gonna walk in to just give you a sense of how much room there is here. I mean, all really well designed. It's a massage shower, two shower heads. The floors are heated, radiant floor heat down here. Custom glass enclosure. And for all of those that love to see the systems of the house, you're going to love this. So this is the hydronic water system. This will be every inspector's dream because everything is so perfectly labeled to make maintenance and repair down the road very easy. But it's been in service regularly and it's all very easy to use, even though it may look like it's a very intense uh, maintenance heavy system, but it really isn't. The way that it's been designed has been really thought through. So water pumps through the walls and then goes to the radiators and that's how you get the heat in the winter. And then in the summer, there are the ductless systems for the air conditioning. And then there is on-demand hot water as well, which we'll see in a moment. So this whole laundry area here, so an extra, th um, an extra thick counter was added. 
So great space for folding clothes. And then extra cabinetry was added up here. So not only is this a gorgeous bathroom, but it's also a really stunning laundry room. So there are nest thermostats throughout the entire house on all levels of the home, smoke and CO detectors. There are nest thermostats here. It is dual zone, so you can heat the lower level separately to the upper level. Again, really a nice extra feature. This bedroom here is a full, is a proper bedroom. It is, it has full egress from the windows. The windows were made larger. There is fantastic closet space here. Plenty of space for easily a king size bed and nightstands. I love this built in desk. This is a nice touch. So just look at all these details here. So you have this, this wood here, access for computer cords, these designer lights put in. There are USB ports in the outlets throughout the house. All LED lighting and this custom wall, this custom closet looks like a wall, but there's a lot behind it to show off. So there's this whole little loft area here that just adds, for, adds more storage, but all these, all the shelving here is all very custom. Lots of space. These pull out, these are great for shoes. You have pull out drawers here. So really there's nothing to do in this home. You literally are just moving in and unpacking your stuff. Everything has been so thoughtfully updated. There's window treatments, blinds, I mean, everything really is, is done. All the lights are on dimmers. And so again, this, this space here, Projection space is very intentional. In ceiling wiring, everything has been thought through to allow this to be that perfect media, media center, home entertainment space. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do that. Thank you, Billy. So there's this large storage area as well here so this is the on-demand water heater. There is a new electrical panel with upgraded electrical. All the wiring in the house is updated. All of the plumbing has been updated. So there is, there is nothing original when it comes to systems. And then there's this crawl space storage, which we're purposely showing. There is this really nifty um, door. It's a magnet door that covers up this opening really perfectly, but it's intentionally uncovered so that you can see how much space there is inside. So no st shortage of storage here. So there's also added insulation. And this kitchen too, sometimes people don't love having a kitchen downstairs, but it's nice that the color, it's all, it, it flows with the rest of the design and it, ju it just blends so nicely. There's a little fridge there, beverage fridge. Deep sink too, but again, really nice finishes, quartz counters, nice cabinetry, USB port, very clever in just the right spaces. There's extra storage here. Yeah, it does go back, I would say a good, maybe 10 feet or so. Yeah. These floors are beautiful. So these are the newer floors, but they work really well with blending into the tile that's in the kitchen that then goes into, kind of blends with the um, fur floors. So the back deck here, really easy access. A newer Trex deck, so you're good for 20, 30 years, no maintenance, rot resistant, really easy. Easy, easy to maintain. It's a really lovely 
backyard space. And you'll see also when you're out here, the house has been recently painted. Everything has been taken care of meticulously. Hello everyone, thanks for joining. We have a few more people watching. If there are any questions, please let us know. And there is a lot more information too on the website, Urban Craftsman, Classic Urban Craftsman. We can see the 3D Matterport virtual tour, also the property video. So really large deck here, as you can see. Nice yard space. Little spot for a fire pit, but there's a lot that you could do here. There's plenty of space to do gardening. It's landscaped nicely. So where we are right now, so we are one mile from the Mount Baker light rail. We are about a five minute walk to some of the neighborhood parks along Lake Washington. Hunter Boulevard, which is a really famous um, area. It's actually designed by the Olmsted brothers, the same um, landscape designers that created many parks in Seattle and the um, famous Central Park in New York City. But it has very much a stately feel and we're literally just two blocks away from there. So many neighborhood parks, which is what Mount Baker is known for. Um, we're also one mile away from the PCC in Columbia City. So really convenient. There are places to walk to. Mio Posto, a really popular restaurant, is a short walk away. So we'll end in, let's go ahead and end inside in the dining room and we'll answer any questions and show you a few more things while we're there. I do want to explain the parking situation of the house. So this home does have off street parking. It is a separately deeded area. It's not adjacent to the house, so it can be a little bit confusing to some, but it's literally just a 45 second walk. And so on the website, we have more information about it, um, but there is a separate deeded parking pad that goes along with the house. And again, there's an entire upgrades list available, and there is a list of 10 things that the seller will miss most. And we urge you to take a look at all of the wonderful marketing material that has a lot more explanation about the home and to visit Urban Craftsman Classic. I'm sorry, urbancraftsmanliving.com. I take that back. I gave you the wrong name earlier. It's urbancraftsmanliving.com. And that's where you can find a lot more information about the house. So please reach out with any questions. Happy to answer. And thank you for joining us today and have a great rest of your weekend.